Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to program the Kumo mechanical keyboard. Uh, this keyboard is uh, the latest version in the minivan series. It uh, supports hot swappable switches. The keycaps that come with the PCB have the same profiles. At least it seem to me they have the same profiles. So I was able to uh, arrange the keys according to my real settings. Uh, in addition, the PCB uh, supports different layouts for the bottom row. Uh, for example, what you see here is the so-called standard layout. There are two white keys in the middle, three on the left, three on the right. The other variations include four on the left, or four on the right, or a single one in the middle. Uh, let me show you here. So you can see, you can choose different settings for the bottom row. Uh, okay, so in order to program it, uh, of course you can just use QMK all the way, but uh, I find it easier to use um, this website that uh, comes with the, the manufacturer, who's called uh, Trashman. So this one is the equivalent, the counterpart of a QMK configurator. And the QMK configurator actually works on this one too. Uh, but there's one difference. So, so this one, um, this is the, uh, the website, the, the manufacturer's website. So it uh, supports the, the um, LED lights um, for different layers, for different situations, out of box. That's why I find it easier to use this one. I think uh, um, th there you can get more functions, more like more, more sophisticated functions from QMK, but I don't really use them, so I just use um, this website. So in order to uh, do the settings, First, you need to come here to choose your keyboard, and for this keyboard, it's minivan. And here, for um, the so-called zones, this refers to this refers to the um, the bottom row. So, for example, if I choose a different setting, you can see it becomes four four uh, keys here. If I use standard. It becomes three keys. Similarly, for the right hand, right now it's three keys. If I use arrow, it becomes four keys. So, um, what it means, if you want to change that, um, let's we can go see the PCB. So you can see. So this is the front side where you can do hot swapping. So you can see. Uh, these two are the white keys. And then on this side, you have one, th this is kind of one key, but you have the left position and the right position. So that corresponds to the three key setting or four key setting. And you can figure that out by which one is centered well, uh, according to this layout plot. It, it gave you the dimension of these keys. And this is the second key. And this, if you have three keys, then these three keys, actually only the middle one will count. The other two are just the stabilizers. Okay. So you basically just need to go here, add layers, edit the keys. You can press it and choose different types of settings and then pick the corresponding keys. It's all very straightforward. After you're done, you can save the layout, export that layout into a JSON file. For some reason, that JSON file doesn't work with QMK directly. I think it's because of those light indicators. And after you're all done, you can say build firmware, and it will generate a um, hex file, or you can download the individual files for further editing. And that hex file is uh, QMK compatible. 
So you just go to the QMK toolbox, load the, the hex file just saved, and I, um, you can pick this auto flash, and then um, make sure your keyboard is connected, uh, then you just need to press the reset button in the back. Let me show you. So this is the back of this keyboard. Uh, so this is the power, the USB-C power, and the reset button is right here. So if you poke it, then QMK will automatically reflash. That's how you do it. So this is basically how uh, you program all the minivan related keyboard or this is actually very similar to all the other mechanical p keyboard programming. I uh, hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching.